Alrighty. Been a long time since Riverwood. Yeah, no shit. One on the left. All right. This is cozy. Man, she is just rail thin, isn't she? Sorry, I'm supposed to be meeting someone here. I hope you're just playing dumb. I'm the one who let the noise that you know about. I was expecting someone taller. Good. The whole point of being in hiding is to appear to be someone you're not. Better have a good reason for dragging me here. Go on. I'm listening. Like I said in my notes, I've heard that you might be Dragonborn. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Well, someone like you, for a very long time. If you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. How do I know I can trust you? If you don't trust me, you were a fool to walk in here in the first place. Nah, I can handle you. <laughs> Um, nom 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 nom. This is no time to play the reluctant hero. You either are or aren't Dragonborn. But I'll see for myself soon enough. <laughs> so what's the part you're not telling me? Dragons aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead. Killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, and I need you to help me stop it. <laughs> Two years ago, I said almost the same thing to the colleague of mine. Well, it turned out he was right and I was wrong. I know they are. I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty. And I figured out where the next one would come back to life. We're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. Are we now? You should know. You got the map from me. The dragonstone you got for Farangar, remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was her, wasn't it? So you were paying attention. I no. No, I wasn't. <laughs> things happen from behind the scenes. After all, here you are. Yes, 
a map of ancient dragon burial sites. I've looked at which ones are now empty. The pattern is pretty clear. It seems to be spreading from the southeast, starting in the Gerald near Richter. The one near Kynesville is next. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. Let's go kill a dragon. I need to get into my traveling gear. Give me a moment and I'll be ready. That's better. Let's get on the road to Kynesville. Okay. Alright, so, going to Kynes Grove. Do I have any fast travel points there? I don't think so. She said it's near, what, Riften? Oh. Oh, no, I've actually been to Kynes Grove. That makes this so much easier. to uh lightning bolt quick save Yep, that's the plan. Ah! Getting stuck on stuff. Where'd he go? There he is.
Alright, come on, just a little bit more. Yes! Alright. Oh, Dark Heath has survived. Oh, yeah, let's see if he has anything, just bone scales, and a decent bit of gold. I owe you some answers, don't I? Yes. Go ahead. Yes, you do. Whatever you want to know. Nothing held back. I'm one of the last members of the Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were dragon slayers, and we served the Dragonborn, the greatest. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. We need to stop them. Uh, yeah, what do you know about the dragons coming back? Oh. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. Really? Where? Interesting. Same dragon. Damn it. We're blundering around in the dark here. We need to figure out who's behind it all. Exactly. Nobody even remembers our name these days. We used to be known across Tamriel as the protectors of the Septim Emperor. Those days are long gone. For the last 200 years, We've been searching for the next dragonborn to guide and guard as we are slain. But we never found one until now. The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragon. The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. The faction that rules the Aldmeri Dominion, the ones who almost destroyed the Empire, during the Great War 30 years back. There's no worse enemy to humankind in Tamriel. The Empire barely survived the last war. The Thalmor don't intend to lose the next one. Before the Great War, the Blades helped the Empire against the Thalmor. Our Grand Master saw them as the greatest threat to Tamriel. At the time, that was true. Maybe it still is. So we fought them in the shadows, all across Tamriel. We thought we were more than a match for them. We were right. Nothing solid, yet. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacked, Ulfric escaped, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere, indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? If we could get into the Thalmor Embassy, it's the center of their operations in Skyrim. Problem is, that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. They could teach me a few things about paranoia. I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, it's late for me. I shouldn't be long. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Alrighty, let's go drop this horn off.
with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Do I go full throat? Oh! Come on, old man. Cool. What do? Uh, I don't want to do that yet. I don't want to do that until after main quest. Let's do... Yeah, what's in here? Turn to Klimek. Ah, yeah, he's the... Uh, I took his pack up here. Fine. Quite a climb. Nothing happened. Anyway, much appreciated. Here, take this for your troubles. Thanks again for the. Oh, work. damn! Seven hundred and fifty gold for that. So, not entirely sure how that works. Somehow I have the Riften Stables unlocked, but I haven't actually been to Riften. So that's kind of neat. Actually... Because I've been to Broken Helm Hollow. Oh, that's right. Okay. What's the actual entrance to Riften? I don't remember. Oh, it's over here. The fuck? Hold that. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visit. For the privilege of entering the city. <laughs> what does it matter? I think you'd be a little smarter. 
Yes. That was interesting to say the least. Tavern seems like a good place to ask about it. I don't have any business with you. Heed my words. The return of the dragons is not mere coincidence. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin we carry. Hey, Lan. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin we carry. Hey, Lan. I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn the septum of it honestly. Define honestly. Steal Medesi's silver ring from Strongbow under a stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Brand Day's pocket without him noticing. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. I'll be out in the market all day, from 8 in the morning until 8 in the evening. Meet me then, if you've still got the stomach for it. been contracted to make sure Grand Shea remembers not to meddle in affairs that aren't his own. Now, since we're not the Dark Brotherhood, we're not going to kill him. We're just going to make sure he sits in the prison for a few days. Do you want me to hold your hand as well? Kind of. You're pretty. Two of the gems, the 
ones on the outside represents a couple to be married, one for the husband, one for the wife. The amethyst in the center represents the hist, the entity that all Argonians consider a sacred part of our lives. Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both? Three, in fact. They're my own recipe. Brought them over here from my days as a bartender. Neat. First, it's the Velvet Lachance, which is a mixture of blackberry, honey, spiced wine, and a touch of nightshade. Perfectly safe, I assure you. Second, we have the White Gold Tower, which is heavy cream with a layer of blended mead, lavender, and dragon's tongue on top. Last, and only for the bravest of souls, we have the Cliff Racer, which is firebrand wine, syrogillic brandy, bling, and sujama. <laughs> Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both? an entrance down by the canal, but I'd highly advise you to stay out of there. It's the Thieves Guild's territory. If you'll excuse me, I have other Fancy things yourself to attend. adventuring site, eh? You in town, eh? Just as well. Here for Without your combat skills. prowess would prove valuable in a real battle anyway. I was trained by some of the finest... There's players. nothing like fishing on Lake Onre. You should... Only the best in all of Rifkan. I own Rifkan Fishery. I started out with a single fishing pole, and now I have an entire building and two boats to my name. Nice. For a middle-aged Nord, eh? Too bad I haven't had the same success helping the city shed its poverty. And even Nord thinks I'm wasting my time trying. But I disagree. I sell my cash across a good portion of Skyrim. It's worth its weight in gold to me. The only untapped market left is Markarth. However, I just got word that Cleferet, you're headed that way. I would appreciate you delivering a purchase agreement for me. You'd be paid, of course. Good. Clepper will pay you as soon as you arrive with the letter. Here you are. Yes, I suppose someone has to be around here. Have you seen the condition of this sorry street poor city? Beggars roam the streets, crime runs rampant, and the threat of war is driving away business. The paltry amount of coin that I place in the charity box at the temple is the least I can do to help. Nivenor is my wife. How I was ever able to meet such a gorgeous creature is one of life's mysteries. We're at odds about my charity. She thinks the people in this town have become lazy and expecting a handout. I tried to include her in my lessons for Mara Mal over at the Temple of Mara. She prefers to shop instead. Different strokes, eh? Indeed. Remember to give at the temple. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. Currently in mourning. It was my sister, Lilia. She served as a battle maiden with the storm cloak. We recently heard she'd been killed. I, I find it difficult to talk about. Better off speaking to my parents about it. Anyway, I'm glad my work at the Black Briar Meadery keeps me busy. It helps me keep my mind off of things. My father was a storm cloaked soldier in his younger days. Now he just walks the streets spewing his hatred and propaganda. My mother is the priestess of Talos. She tends to the shrine and teaches his way. I'm just not so sure she's delivering the right message. Don't mistake my political beliefs as a substitute for my family's values. They're still my parents, and I love them dearly. I just think they've let my sister's death skew their outlook on Ulfric and what he really brings to the table with his war. I'm not so certain that Ulfric's intentions are as noble as they think. I think Ulfric cares about Ulfric, and the rest is a smoke screen. I... 
appreciate if you kept my opinion between us. The last thing I want to do is have my parents lose another child. Yes, Akbul. I'm partnered with Maven Blackbriar. I put up a chunk of the gold she needed to get the place off the ground. We've been staggeringly successful so far. In fact, I'm almost surprised how quickly she's generated business for us. My name may not be on the label, but some of my blood, sweat, and tears are in every drop. Figuratively, of course. Oh, God, I hope so. It's been good talking to you. Aha, a fellow Norse. I trust you're bringing the fight to the Empire. They mean to take our history and crush it all in the name of some damn treaty. The soil beneath our feet is steeped in the blood of our ancestors. We fought for this land and died for it. I lost my own daughter to the Imperial dogs. And by Talos, I'll not lose anyone else. Melina joined the Stormcloaks many years ago. When the first of the skirmishes broke out across Skyrim, I was so proud of her. She served as a battle maiden, using her healing arts to help those that fell on the battlefield. Never even lifted a blade of her life. Even after, the Imperial soldiers cut her down, killed her like a dog. sits upon the throne of Skyrim. Support Ulfric or die trying. There's nothing in between. If you've got the coin, you're welcome to it. Otherwise, it's a loan. The Thieves Guild has been pushing hard to regain the foothold in this city. Rumor has it they're falling apart from the inside. North to Winterhold. There's a college there. I teach magic. Most Nords don't care for them. Else you could go see the Jarl's wizard. Might be able to help you. The city guard has been tearing Riften apart, looking for the source of our school of problem. I'd hate to be in their shoes if they get discovered. If it's true that the daggers have returned, what will it mean for all of us? Is this how it all ends? Okay. I don't have any business with you, so get out of my face. I don't have any business with you, so get out of my face. Looking for work? I need someone to deliver a message to City Blackbriar. Ah, well, I recently approached City Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. Sibby hmm. believes this exempts him from our deal. It does not. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. Good man. You won't regret it. Head to the Riften Jail and talk to Sibby. Get him to tell you where Frost and his lineage papers are and bring them to me outside Riften. You'll be well paid for your time. No idea, but whatever he did, it must have angered Maven. No guard would lock up a Blackbriar without the old lady's permission. I'm not exactly comfortable around guards or jails. Definitely not when associates of mine have been locked up. No. I'll Fair meet enough. You outside of town. I'll meet you outside of town. My skill in battle is unmatched. Fortunately for you, that skill can be bought. Hmm. Why settle for you know what, Darkethus? Lead off and behind you. Do you need to carry something? Uh, not really. Just, um... That was yours. No, I just, I, I need this stuff back. Of 
of magic at your side, you'll have nothing to fear. All right. Uh, I've got these foods. Uh, I can sell them. If you got the coin, you're welcome here. Otherwise, let's save that appetite. Hmm? Come back and see us again. Still too heavy. So, do do do. What time is it? You know, I might as well get a room and. Okay. I don't have any business with you, so get out of my face. Oh, but you will. This is fine. All right, uh, let's do nine forty-five. I was expecting an Argonian. I may be dark elf by birth, but I was raised Argonian. For a reason I'm still trying to discover. I ended up orphan, taken in by a kindly Argonian family of Black Mark. I hope one day to find out what happened. How are you did up like that? Just one. I know when I was found by my Argonian father, I was wrapped in a blanket, bearing the symbol. It was one of the great houses of Moro went long ago. Whether that means I was one of them or not, I'm uncertain. If you come across anything in your travels that might provide me with the answers I'm looking for, I'd be grateful. Thank you. I learned that a matron who had served for House Kelvana had escaped Moro wind during the Obsession War. Records showed her barring passage aboard a sailing vessel. Part of Kelvone, back where the trail ran cold. I spent years looking for what became of the ship, but I ended up empty handed. See for yourself. Oh, okay, so he sells weapons. So. Let's get rid of the heavy stuff.
Okay. So I'm not sure if I've gotten that stuff. All right. Let's uh, go ahead and equip this. Anything we can find would be of great help. Good luck. My husband Darcy will be the death of me. He spends too much time worrying about Rifton and not enough about himself. You gonna buy something or just here for training? Otherwise, move on. Look. I've moved all over Skyrim selling these bits of junk, and I'm barely scraping by. I'm not out to win friends, and I could care less if you're happy about your purchase or not. I just need the coin. That's why you're not really doing very well. There are ruined sewer tunnels beneath the city. The only way I know how to get in there is through a door off of the canal. If I were you, I'd keep my feet dry and stay up here. Are you serious? The war is tearing the land apart. The dragons have returned seeking who knows what. Skyrim is going nowhere. Fast. If I were you, I'd pack up and get out of here before you end up in one of those burial cairns. Come back when you're ready to spend more gold. Greetings, honored friend. Could I interest you in some fine jewelry? I do. Sadly, I'm one of the few traditional Saxlier jewelers that remains in Tamriel. It's becoming a lost art. Only trouble is gathering materials has become hazardous. The roads to the mines and to the other cities are thick with bandits, and worse. Would you be interested in gathering some materials for me? I'd certainly be happy to compensate you. Thank you, Lance Strider. I'm seeking a small list of items to complete my next creation. Two flawless sapphires, a mammoth tusk, and a chunk of gold ore. I can accommodate that. Just what you see here. Why does it keep doing that? That Brynjolf keeps draining the people's pockets with his ridiculous miracle cures. A few months ago, it was Troll Fatsav, and now he's got something new. Not that there's anything that can be done about it. He's in good with the Thieves' Guild. See for yourself. Why does it keep doing that? Safe travels, Landstrider. My husband, Darcy, will be the death of me. He spends too much time worrying about Rifton and not enough about You've been himself. Stranger here too, I've never huh? seen the old as upset about it. Visitors like us are rare in this part of Skyrim. I've been adventuring across Tamriel since I was a fresh-faced young woman, barely able to swing a blade. My travels have taken me from High Rock to Velenwood, Elsewhere to Morrowind, and all points in between. Many years ago, I lost my blade, Grim Sever, within the Thrana ruins. I took it as a sign that I was wasting my days in search for wealth. You and I are alike. We seek talent and great fortune. But for me, that's where the similarities end. You see, Riften is my great beast to be slain, and my fortune comes from gratitude and trust. To call it a guild is ridiculous. How can people who would betray one another over a gold coin be considered part of an association? They're the worst kind. Even the Dark Brotherhood abides by a strict set of rules and traditions. 
Tradition. That's a shame. Too many people in Richland share your view, and look where it's getting us. It's going to take more than just myself and Aaron to help this city. It has to want to help itself first. It's been difficult. I've taken the burdens of this city's problems upon myself. And I keep running into impossible obstacles. Corruption, lies and deceit are the order of the day here. If it wasn't for Aaron, the young man who saved my life, I think I'd already have given up long ago. It was Aaron who found me dying outside of his Wemmer ruin. If he hadn't brought me here and nursed me back to health, I would have died. When my strength returned and he told me about the problems plaguing Lichten, I decided fate brought me here for a reason, so I stayed. Maven Blackbriar, the matriarch of the family, represents everything that's wrong with this city. She's bribed countless officials, has friends back in the Imperial City, and freely associates with the peace here. I've tried everything I can to protect Richland's citizens from her family, but to no avail. When there is England Blackbriar, Maven's daughter, a strange girl. She likes to spend time down in Elgrim Felixfields working on her health. Then you have Henry, Maven's son, a spoiled brat and heir to her empire. He follows her word like a loyal dog follows its master. And finally, Sibi, the worst of all of them. He's in Richland jail for murder. All right. <sighs> So No. All right, if I remember correctly, this I I can get The person who can identify it is in the thieves guild, so not really going to worry about it. Um that's going to come in time. So, all right, so I guess we're going to Winterhold. Fast travel to the stables, then book a carriage. Less. Yeah, it'll be quicker that way. Oh, pardon me. Is that your way? Yes. Maybe I can take you to any of the whole capital. Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. All right. So, I guess go off this way. I guess that's a fox. That'll be the quick way down. Need a safe way down. There's got to be safe passage around here somewhere. Oh, 
Looks safe-ish. Wolves. Damn. Okay, well that did the job. Okay, so... What's that? I thought I saw something. I did see something. What is this? What the fuck was that? Whatever it was, it killed me. save and off we go again you know frostbite this is just yeah Ah, I spake. That's what I was looking for. You know what I should do? Shouts. I've got a couple dragon souls. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of neat. Let's see, still two wolves here? Yeah. Okay, that one apparently missed. Okay. Now, what killed me up here? Quick save. Oh.
Staff of Ice Spikes. How fitting. Damn it, did not mean to take the bowl. Okay. So, let's see. Makes me wonder what was going on there. I had a suspicion that it was some uh, ice runes, but couldn't tell. What is that? That's nothing. It's just ice covered rock. I wonder if ice ore is a thing. Apparently I missed. Oh. It's because he's got, like, stone flesh or something on. Some kind of warding spell. That's not what I meant to do. Come on, I've got to have something here. God damn it. Well, I got it close. Looks like I'm close to a level up, too. Oh. Bunny. Okay. Wolves over here. Somewhere. That works. Okay, 
snowy cat over there. They won't come in the water for some reason. Take two went quite a bit better. <coughs> Quick save after that. Okay, I guess, um, guess we're going around. Okay. Crap. Are you get out? My cat's under my desk. came just in time. Okay. Steel horned. How's that up? Excuse me. Come on, dude, I'm paying you, so shut the fuck up. God damn it.
so. See here. Let's check out the other part of this camp. Nothing. What about in here? Anything? Potion of Magicka. Many empty wine bottles. No chest down here. Oh. Let's see. What's this? Uh, nothing. Alright, before I give that to him, I want to see what that book says. Because I don't know if I've actually done this. You know, this is actually going to make this a lot easier. Times it. 747, just enough time. Okay, Lux, good. Wait until I start the distraction, then show me what you're made of. Everyone, everyone, gather around. I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention. Yeah. I'll just pay.
You caught me. I'll pay off my bounty. So, did they actually take the ring? I mean... suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. Even though you fouled up the job, I still think you've got the spark I'm looking for. There's plenty of gold out there for the taking. You're up to the challenge. All right, then. Let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Ripton, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you really got what it takes. Yeah, I got what it takes. I'm just not doing it right now. When I get this out of the quest log. Uh, down we go. M pin cushion. Oh, they've already faded, but I did see a few sticking out of me, so uh, Okay. Oh, you know what I should do? Let's uh myself another minion. Down we go. Okay, we got food. I don't know where Mercurio went. Oh, there's traps all over the place. Okay, so...
Okay. Is this moth landing on? Damn it! Ugh. Hate that it takes a second after exiting the menu for it to equip. You know what? Let's throw some spikes at him. Damn it. Ah, wrong way. Certain I'd ever see you again. Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? We owe our organization some serious coin, and they decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Tirava, Percy Honeyhound, I think. 
care of that part. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. Honestly, the death is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Aww. Good. If you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Now get going. Irava's stubborn, but she's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Tal and Jay at the B and Bar. See if you can get something out of them. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? He's as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits, and he'll change his attitude. Helga is a devout follower of Dibella and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage, and she'll cave. All right. Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna be a trouble. No handouts here. All right, then. Talk to me again when you've proven yourself to Grigio. Yeah, I'm apparently gonna have to do that and then. Huh. Something hostile here. Somehow. Huh. Well, oh. That didn't find it. All right. Where's the back door? to go out the front door. Damn it. What's this? There we go. Really though, what is... what's down here? Oh, I remember this. Yeah, okay. Really, I could have bypassed those guys? Okay, well. More you know. Do, 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 do. going on? Hmm. 
interesting. Okay. Uh... So. Talk to Talon J. I don't want to harm anyone. Honestly. If you excuse me, I have other things to attend to. Sorry. Here for a room or something to drink? Throw me some coin. The old lioness used to adventure across Skyrim before she settled down in Riften. I hear it all ended when she lost her enchanted blade. Take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Ripton's biggest exports used to be fishes and honey until the Blackbriar family moved in. Now the Mundelini's the biggest game in town. No, I never will. Now get out of my room. How could you possibly know about... Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. Very well. Here, take this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. Alright. There's one down. If this works. No, that's earned the priceless. I believe you did that. These people are monsters. You demand payment for protection, and you can't even protect yourself. Take me to court and tell Brynjolf to leave us alone. No need for that here. Message understood. Here, I even have the payment. Cool.
Uh, I thought there was something there. Apparently not. Achievement unlocked. Taking care of business. Come on, Brynjolf. Uh, whoa. It's always fun when they teleport like that. Okay. And everybody has secret doors. Sounds good. Woohoo! Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin, so don't disappoint us. Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade close. You can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin Mallory and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, 
I talked to Tamelia in the plaza. She'll set you up with your new armor. Golden Grove Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouth wood elf named Arathon. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the space in the main house. The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. The guild depends on an arrangement of influential people to keep things running smoothly. Without them at our backs, we'd be in serious trouble. So Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. In Discworld there is a guild for everything. And the reason that they are allowed to persist is because the governor of the city, Ank Morpork, believes, well, if there's going to be th crime, it might as well be organized. that. I want to talk to those two. They're the ones that are likely to know about an appraiser. Fair enough.
Attention, numbers, and bedroom jobs. The ones who have all personal touch. You're brave, you two, all your thing. Go talk to Megs. Well, should have quite a good bit of job to watch yourself out there. The mercenaries are and got hired to train killers. Just ask our poor little Megs. If you're looking to get some coin for the fruits of your labor, you should talk to Tanelia. She sounds tough, but she'll cut you a fair deal. I also suggest you spend some time in the trading room. Just talk to Nipper, he'll show you around. Years ago, the guild used to have a foothold in every major city in Skyrim. You wouldn't dare even lift an apple without checking with us. When things started going downhill around here, it became difficult to keep it all together. We lost fences, influential contacts, coin. It wasn't long before we lost what we depend on to survive. Respect. By doing these extra jobs and putting some fear into the people, we can take back the cities and start being taken seriously once again. Thanks to Maven Blackbriar, we still have some pull in Ripley. But get arrested in Whiterun and you'll be tossed right into the prison. If we gain the confidence of someone very influential who lives there by doing a unique job for them, we'll be able to have some leverage there too. Hmm. The only way we get that special job is by doing smaller ones in those cities until we catch their ear. Then they'll contact me and we're off. What's the matter? So Maybe you're the new recruit, huh? Yeah. Well, looks like you and I are going to have to get very well acquainted. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again, for a small fee. Sure, how about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Look, I've been in this business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make up. Good, then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Well, you could always speak to Delvin or Vex if you're looking for extra work. Or if you're looking for training, we've got plenty of it down here. Delvin, Vex, Mirowin, and Vipper can give you a leg up on that. Usual guild rates. Let's take a look at them. All right. Gonna want to disenchant that. And then that. Yeah, I'm just gonna want to disenchant every goddamn thing. Uh, poisons, since I don't really use them. What do I need for... What's this futz?
again, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Then we understand each other. Good. Now, it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. You want my opinion? Okay, it's just plain old bad luck. You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start feeling it like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? It's been a while since I've seen one of those. What you've got there is a stone of Baron Zaya. Not like that, it isn't. The stone was pried off of Baron Zaya's ceremonial crown by a thief in order to cover his tracks. I think there were 24 in all. Most people keep them as a curiosity. Some of the guild members have tried to locate them over the years, but they haven't been successful. Well, till now. Look, I only buy things I can turn around quickly for a profit. And no one wants these stones unless they have the whole set. Tell you what, if you find the rest of them, talk to me again. Otherwise, keep it. Maybe it'll bring you luck. Hm. Yeah, I did. That wood elf's wit. A lot smarter than I expected. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? There must have been eight of them in there. It was like he was daring us to come and get him. Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the northwest side of the island. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. If you're ever in need of some quick coin for items you find on the job, Tanelia is the best fence around. And besides myself, Delvin, Miruin, and Bipper can help you with any sort of training you might need to sharpen your skills. Are you kidding me? Ever since the guild's luck turned sour, we haven't had a coin to our name. And when the coin dried up, that's when people started to leave. We had the best of everything down here. The Ratway was a damn palace. The only way this place will ever return to its glory days is if we can finish these extra jobs and start the gold flowing again. The flagon was once a city beneath the city. We had our own smith, our own alchemist, you name it. If we can make a name for ourselves in Skyrim once again, I can almost promise you those merchants would return. Best of all, we'd have enough gold to throw around so we could start living in the lap of luxury again. Don't give up now. There's plenty of loot out there just right for the taking. Alright. Ah, uh, get that level up. Get some more magicka. And what do I want? I definitely want that avoid death. Let's see here. Yeah, I want that. See what other options do I have available to me right now?
I might take I might take those. Come on. Hmm. Thinking about what would be useful. I should start casting some of these armor spells under alteration, like the oak flesh. Welcome to the cozy little family. I'm one All right. Getting to a good stopping point, I feel like. But uh, let's cover some, at least a little bit of ground to get out there to Batolft. A dragon. I see the dragon. Let's cast that. And yeah. Come on, you little blighter. go. There he is.
Ah, oh, god damn it, I keep getting stuck on shit. Oh, good, he survived. some more healing on. Okay. You know what? I'm here. I might as well just take it. Take care of it. There's one more. One, two. Ah. And somehow the one of the weaker ones was the leader. Uh all right, cool. Okay. What is this? Uh, probably would need one of the spheres. Oh well. Whatever. This is a good stopping point, so, uh... Same time tomorrow. 7 a.m. Mountain Standard. Cheers.